video. I will share with you a short talk about online teaching and learning. And along with it, I invited some of my friends and colleagues to share with you their thoughts, opinions, and experiences about online teaching and learning. Let's watch them. Hello everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm going to talk to you about the challenges I face doing online teaching. Hello everyone, I'm uh, Joffa Jessica Katsina Dubaran, a senior lecturer and a chemical engineer at the uh, National University of Science and Technology College of Engineering Campus. I'm Lailani and I am affiliated with University of Technology and Applied Sciences in Nizwa. I'm a lecturer. Hello everyone. It's lovely to be speaking to you through Ms. Susanna's YouTube channel. I'm Nelson, a senior lecturer and a CELTA trainer at the National University of Muscat. What are the challenges of online teaching? Let's watch my colleagues as they share their experiences. The biggest challenge that I face is how to keep my students attention how to keep them engaged and retain their attention from the beginning until the end of the class and what i do is i try to break up my class my online class into different sections and try to have a mix up of different media formats such as videos or documents or slides and to share them on the screen with my students and that really makes a difference actually last semester we already started the online class and during that time it was really a big struggle for us in the university it was a sudden lockdown of entire oman and we are not uh, prepared for it but uh, we need to cater the needs of our students so with the help of the administration our colleagues and of course our passion in teaching we overcome all these uh, struggles and on my part I asked my student I asked them what are their needs what are what they want in an online class to enhance their learning experience and they have suggested uh, so many things and and the best way to overcome that is a lot of preparation one teacher must be able to oversee what will be needed in a certain class and among the many things that the teacher has to be prepared for besides the content is the platform and that platform should also be familiar with students not only is the teacher knowledgeable about the platform but it is important that students are also familiar with the platform and the other websites and apps that they might need during the class. COVID had forced many teachers who are used to teaching a face-to-face -face class with students presence in the classroom uh, to suddenly transition into uh, a, an emergency remote uh, teacher. And so that, that kind of transitioning has, uh, has forced teachers to uh, try to make the best of a difficult situation and uh, I think that is the, the, the first point of challenge that we face currently. So when we began it was really challenging because we were not used to teaching online. It was just a face-to-face -face teaching that we had done. But this is not the first time that we are doing online teaching now. This is the third semester. The other challenges and benefits of online teaching. Challenge is for me to manage my time because as teachers, we spend a lot of time for lesson preparation, for marking and giving feedback. And I think it is important that we come up with a realistic schedule so that we can strictly follow and stick to that schedule and be able to do all our tasks 
on time and be able to use our time wisely and productively. By using uh, Doodly app, I have improved my video presentation and also using uh, smart technology, using that stylus pen to uh, write the complete calculation solutions of our numerical problem so that the student will feel that as if they are just in a classroom lecture. And also interaction with the student, you have to encourage them to interact, to share their ideas, their knowledge. It doesn't matter if it's correct or not. Online teaching has its own benefits that face-to-face -face teaching doesn't have. Of course, one of the things that we might miss from face-to-face uh, -face teaching is the interaction, the ability to see the behavior of students and being able to monitor them working together without any problem with time. So for online teaching, that may really be a challenge, but online teaching also has its own benefits. And Lack of tech skills. So the, some of the technology that is available um, freely as well as as part of a licensed uh, uh, undertaking is still unfamiliar to many teachers. Um, though everyone knows how to use a computer, how to access the internet, how to download information, how to upload data, etc. They, they do know that. I mean, the basic uh, computing skills are there. However, how to use all of that uh, to teach a regular lesson, as, in, uh, as you would do in a regular classroom, that was a bit of a challenge, I felt, when um, initially, uh, when teachers started teaching, including myself. So, uh, that kind of an unprepared transition had its own challenges. And even when looking from the student's perspective, the challenges that uh, were there at, at the start as well as now uh, is definitely network coverage. I think in, it depends on which part of the world you are situated in. The coverage of a uh, network is not even. So there are areas which have low network coverage, uh, areas that... Uh, Students would lose their academic year And with good training, I think anything that we do face-to-face -face can be achieved even online. Perhaps something more, I believe. I personally am supporting this online teaching. Well, in a language classroom, doing pair work, group work, having discussions, uh, student engagement, these are some of the key elements that support learning. Looking forward, what will be the future of online teaching? I personally think that in a virtual classroom, there is not much room for uh, socialization and uh, interaction with uh, the students uh, teacher with the students and the students uh, themselves in the near future so even now there are upgrades happening uh, for every type of um, you know every type of uh, educational service that is being provided so all educational pro uh, service providers are trying to come up with better tools to integrate um, synchronous asynchronous lessons and make it more meaningful for students so in more integrated tech uh, better competencies of teachers so teachers will become more competent and uh, they they will see the benefits of online teaching soon if not uh, have already done so so there would also seem a big pedagogical shift in the way teaching will happen. So I see that all as a positive sign. And uh, computer-based teaching will become more common. And it's not going to be something that only the rich kids will do. It would be a, a common feature of every classroom in the future. It depends. If it's a theory-based uh, module, it can be. But uh, for laboratory-based module, I don't think so. Because in the laboratory-based module, we have to enhance and to develop the student skills. 
uh, for them to be prepared for work in the industry. So they should have hands-on training and do experimental work. So it should be face-to-face. -face. I don't think even this, by the end of the pandemic, the online classes would end. Or even if we move to a face-to-face -face, uh, mode of classroom, some of the elements of online classes can still be embedded. For example, if you are teaching a writing lesson, giving students work on with the Google Docs can really help them to work, to write at their ease and have it really recorded. It is easier for the, for the teacher for the lecturer to give back, to give feedback and make corrections, etc. Along with that, along, along that line is the other challenge, whether students are really um, tech savvy or if they are, if, if they are really familiar with those apps. Do you have any uh, funny moments while doing the online class? The funny part there is every day in a room, you're alone talking with the computer, sometimes for four hours. And there are times also that without knowing that your connection, your Wi-Fi connection is already off and you are just talking alone and your students could not hear you. These are some of my experience, funny experience in the online teaching. The, one of the funny or awkward uh, moment, awkward moments of online teaching is the the prep when you are all prepared and suddenly you don't have the internet or you 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 get your audio breaking at some point and you get frozen. So those are the funny things for online teaching. In fact, you can see that being. Uh, being done as a prodigy, as a, sorry, what do you call this, uh, as like a meme. It, it's done as a meme on on Twitter and Facebook that teachers can look like, you know, like a, like crazy stopping dolls because of the internet connection. This ends my video about the uh, opinions and experiences of my colleagues about online teaching. I'd like to thank uh, Joe, Lailani, Jessica, Bindu and Nelson for uh, giving me the, uh, the chance to uh, ask them some questions about the mentioned topic. Have a nice day everyone.